And so, the most common graph that you're going to end up plotting once you've installed the regulator is a graph that looks like this. You're going to have your flat regulated section and this should go from the peak fill when you fill it up to your maximum fill pressure down to the point at which the regulator has been set. So for ease we'll continue to say that this regulator has been set at 100 bar and so you filled your gun to 200 bar it's been working perfectly okay all the way down a nice flat line and then you get to a point where all of a sudden the power does a quick spike and then over a few shots starts to drop off now this typically will be over the power that you've required or under the power rarely you're going to get it spot on so watch the other graphing videos to learn how to make the other adjustments now this peak happens after the regulator has stopped working and so all this air pressure is working at 100 bar these shots it's all 100 bar and then it gets to here and this air pressure is less than 100 bar because the regulator has stopped working this means that at the present moment in time this outlet valve uh, chamber and the gas within it the hammer travel spring compressions transfer port etc it is at its most efficient at the highest point of the graph so that's when you get in the maximum power out for the minimum uh, effort in that system and so you want to get rid of this get rid of this spike and bring this down to where you require it so that uh, so that your line comes along and then pretty much drops off it's quite hard to get rid of a little blip at the end that can be very time consuming but you need to get it down to an acceptable an acceptable level so this is what you're aiming for a straight line with a drop off as is shown on on the example of what you're trying to achieve here so to do this uh, we first spoke about in the the first video to do with uh, graphing is the one called first fill and graph and on that if you've watched it we spoke about uh, gradually filling the gun up and recording the, the power every five bar so you'd have plotted this up and then pass the regulator uh, set and set pressure at which point it should become a flat line so if you've got an air arms or Benjamin Marauder or any other gun with a with a pressure gauge that's after the regulator it's quite easy to when you hit this power spike turn the gun over and look at the gauge and it'll say we'll take for instance it's 80 bar so the regulator set say for 100 after 100 and it's cut out it's, it spikes up and the maximum uh, power on the spike is when you've looked and it's at 80 bar if you've not got a gun with a gauge on the bottom this is why uh, initially when you first filled the gun you should have filled it five bar two or three shots five bar more two or three shots and so that you know where the power spike is and at how many bar that's occurred and so you know that that's when it's at its most efficient and so to deal with this uh, power spike it's going to be a combination of things so I would suggest if this is the graph that you've got before you start doing any alterations as I mentioned in this video please watch the other videos on graphs and that will tell you a little bit more about adjustments and the effects that they have and so that's it you've been and watched those videos here we go so you know that the regulators in this space here 
is at the most efficient at 80 bar but the regulator at the moment is set to 100 bar and so if you turn the regulator down by adjusting the screw out no sorry adjusting the screw in to reduce the output pressure so adjust the screw in to adjust the output pressure down so if you adjust it to where you think it's going to be at 80 bar uh, that will make it all very efficient but by doing that obviously this line here is the power line is going to come up because there's reduced force, reduced air pressure force pressing on the outlet valve so if you reduce it down you'll end up with far more power than you require but it'll come along and then it'll drop off and then so to get the to get more shots at a less power you've lowered the pressure of the regulator you then have to increase the compression on the outlet valve spring so for fine adjustments when you're in the ballpark you can use the hammer adjustment spring tension the hammer travel and the transfer port restrictor screw but to bring the power down if it's considerably above what you wish for pack and increase the compression on the outlet valve spring so if you if this power spikes only a little spike then you can adjust uh, regulator pressure down a little bit and then just use these settings but if the powers come up considerably and it's a big spike then please put a packer in behind the outlet valve spring now this only needs to be a small packer as mentioned in the follow-on videos if it's a very small hard spring like in a falcon or a brocock enigma then you only probably need 0.2 to 0.4 mil thick and take it up in little increments uh, if you've got a air arms or a hat sand then the adjustment might be between 0.5 of a mil and one millimeter and then take it up in half millimeter compression intervals until you've brought the power down reasonably enough to use the other uh, adjustments on on the gun so that's if the power is above and there's a big power spike uh, obviously if the general power that you've got is below the power that you're aiming for but the peak of the spike here is level with what you're aiming for then hopefully just lowering the pressure on the regulator uh, down to whatever that is 80 bar or whatever you've found it to be on your first 5 bar 5 bar 5 bar fill graph then if you estimate adjust the screw on the regulator to lower the regulator pressure down then lowering it will bring this line up here until you just get a, a nice line and a drop off there this should also uh, both of these should also lead to getting uh, more shots because it makes the system more efficient so I hope that's been of some use and this is the part of the graph that we're always most interested in really where the regulator uh, cuts out whatever it's set at and looking for that uh, power spikes what we're really looking for is for it to come along and either be a gentle drop off or a sharp drop off we're trying to eliminate this little this little peak here so i hope that has been of some use